about Romeo Lavia, in your opinion, because you, clearly you've now outlined that he has been someone who's been giving you hope as a Belgian, you know, with the golden generation kind of fading. Lavia has been maybe the guy, the young guy that's giving you hope for the next generation. What is it about him? Like, why is he this talented young player in so many people's eyes? Why did he catch Pep's eye? You know, what is it about him? Well, it's 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 the energy. I think he puts a lot of energy in his game. And I think for that position, passing forward, basically mm -hmm. getting there. He also likes to carry the ball. It's those actions that make him a standout player, I think, because usually those uh, defensive midfielders, you have the cautious one. This is not always a caution. So what did this one has an action? And basically, we in Belgium, having had Axel Witzel in that position for a long time, who likes to play sideways, basically, that made the difference. And that's why we or made it said that's the new one for 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 our generation, the one that even uh, the other players were talking about. And then, of course, uh, Amadou and Anna came in between. Like He was a bit like the underestimated uh, mm -hmm. player who makes moves and then suddenly explodes again. And then he took the chance at the World Cup. Maybe that could have been Lavias too. But, um, yeah, those two suddenly gave us hope for, for midfield again. And we'll see what will be his next step with, with, with Belgium, for instance, too, if he gets the opportunities to play on a regular basis in, in the national team too, which will make him grow, I think. Um, at Chelsea, not sure what, 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 what is going to happen this season because, yeah, you've spent the double of his money basically for two players in the, in the, over the last six months. So you assume he won't be first choice in the first weeks but he likes a difficult challenge as he went to City. It was a difficult challenge. This is again a difficult challenge. He challenges himself to uh, to 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 get into a team where they've spent a lot on two other midfielders. Yeah, so you would clearly define him as ambitious and maybe a little bit more ambitious than the average Belgian. Well, yeah, we tend to have the, the smaller, like the previous generation was not as ambitious. I think mm -hmm. uh, the one we can't mention with... Uh, Initials RL was uh, very ambitious too, always. But it's the yeah the younger generation. They're far more confident because we've had a really good generation too. I right. think they've seen examples. Amadou Anana, for instance, is like the most confident young guy I've ever seen in a press conference. A Belgian, then uh, how he behaved at the World Cup, how he speaks. Lavia is a bit more laid back, more quiet, but he's ambitious in. His moves, basically, what he does. I go for the difficult one. He could have gone to to Liverpool, I think, where he would have got like a, a little bit easier, a bit less competition. And uh, he had chats with Klopp too, and Klopp believed in him. Basically, everybody was uh, everybody was assuming that he would go to Liverpool at a certain point. Uh, they made first bit, second bit, third bit, but they kept on uh, kept on uh, hesitating basically but to, to close the deal and yeah they closed the deal basically too late and when they went for Caicedo to uh, to just to, to to hijack Chelsea basically he knew uh, he asked himself am I first choice no mm -hmm. uh, and suddenly I'm second choice again and then Chelsea came in uh, to uh, to quote uh, Miley Cyrus as a, as a wrecking ball like with an offer they convinced him Poof. And yeah, suddenly also because George Shields, the head of uh, recruitment yeah. uh, of Chelsea, he has a long relationship with him. He was at City, head of scouting at that point when he signed there. He got him to Southampton. So he knows that there are people in the club who are really fond of him and that helped him over the line too. 